Hi, this is John Chubbick. I'm here in uh, Studio A, B. It's my workshop. Um, I have an update on my fermentation temperature controller. I call my Fermistat. Uh, as you can see here, I've enclosed it in a in a case, and um, I guess now is the time to actually get behind the camera and show you a little demonstration of what it what it can do and. Uh, it's uh, my, my effort to uh, replace the uh, commercial version of a, of a uh, refrigeration control unit for the low-tech lagering method as described in uh, James Spencer and uh, Steve Wilkes' video on low-tech lagering and decoction mashing. So let me get behind the camera and we'll go in for a closer look. I don't have the benefit of, uh, you know, somebody else being behind the camera, just me here in... Uh, in the workshop. So for those of you who perhaps didn't see uh, my first video uh, where I was prototyping this on a, <clears throat> a, a prototyping circuit, um, this is what the board uh, inside the case, uh, well this has some additional stuff on it, but this is actually the, basically what this uh, prototyping board looks like. Um, and to this board which contains a microprocessor, um, and uh, now um, inside, you, maybe you can see there is a, a relay. Um, also coming out of this box is a uh, temperature probe, which is attached to the board inside. And at the other end of this wire is uh, uh, a little chip known as uh, LM34, which... Uh, provides a, uh, a voltage feedback, an analog voltage that can be measured by the microprocessor and uh, from that voltage that's returned you can actually uh, determine the temperature that that circuit, that chip is reading. So um, uh, also coming out of this box are two, two wires. One is, uh, both of these wires are attached to the relay one is uh, providing AC power in, the other is uh, basically an AC outlet uh, for a, a pump. And I, um, I have one inside the, this cooler here, which it's a fountain pump. I bought it for like $15 at Menards. So it's a, an outdoor fountain pump. And that is plugged into uh, the AC out from this uh, project box. Uh, one other wire coming in is a uh, goes to a wall wart which supplies uh, 12 volt power to the board, and uh, so it provides power for the microprocessor, the relay, and the LCD, which is. Um, presently displaying the uh, temperature showing the um, that might be a little difficult to read but it shows the uh, target temperature which is the temperature that I'm targeting for fermentation and the actual temperature which now fluctuates between 73 74 degrees now if I were to uh, um, I also have three buttons on the board uh, and a serial port which this presently doesn't work that's a that's a feature enhancement <laughs> as Microsoft would call uh, their products that don't work um, <laughs> so three buttons um, the middle button controls the menuing system so I can choose to do um, cooling or heating with this uh, which is something I don't believe the commercial versions do. Um, I can uh, display in Fahrenheit or Celsius. I can uh, change the target temperature here. I can save the settings. So if I um, normally ferment at uh, say 70 degrees for my ales, I can uh, save whatever my target setting is presently and then the next time I power back on it will default to that setting. And part of what the uh, 
the serial for is on here, the serial port is uh, to actually uh, capture a log of the temperatures an hour at a time and then be able to play those back uh, with a connection to a personal computer. So one more time takes us back to the monitoring and if I were to now uh, since the actual temperature is 74 and I'm in cooling mode um, if I uh, lower the target temperature Now the uh, pump should, or the actually the relay would activate, uh, providing an AC current to the outlet, and um, thereby powering the pump. As you can see, the pump is is running, and the output from that pump would be going to um, uh, a heat exchanger inside. Uh, a cooler partially filled with water to um, provide the cooling then for uh, for fermentation temperature and then again if, uh, if we change this so that the actual temperature or the target temperature is above the actual then the uh, relay shuts off and that shuts off the pump so there you have it that's my uh, Fermentstat, my fermentation temperature controller, which I will use in conjunction with uh, the low-tech lagering method for uh, lagering as well as uh, just controlling ale temperatures as we go into the summer and and it gets a little warmer down here than I want it to and uh, sometimes with active, uh, very active fermentations, as you know, the temperature can rise uh, out of control pretty quickly and I'm hoping this uh, will help me control my uh, fermentation temperatures and uh, ultimately help me to produce better beers. Thank you for watching.